Listen, folks, as a documentarian, as a photographer, I'm the panda photographer. And what what I'm watching here on this, in the stoops, one M. Sorry, guys, I'm a little agitated by this watching this, but Indisputable has this video of Burbank cops, police officers profiling an actor while he's going to Planet Fitness because of his tattoos. So I'm gonna play back some video. I'm gonna. I'm gonna play back some video. Okay, she's not your own No, nothing. So have you been arrested or anything like that? I've been arrested before. Okay, first and foremost, she did not articulate it. He was suspicious of a crime or anything. She profiled him because of his tattoos. So keep that in mind. His tattoos is why she decided to pull this guy over or as he was walking to Planet Fitness, stop him as a citizen, mind you, it'd be a tyrant. But this years ago, it has nothing to do with my, my life now. Okay, yeah. where, where are you living at? Where am I living? I'm from Phoenix, I'm here as an actor. Mind you, keep, 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 keep that in mind, what he just said. He is from Phoenix, he's here because he is acting. So watch what he says next. I don't know. No? I don't know. I've auditioned for many things that I know you've seen, but I, I sign NDAs and I'm not allowed to talk about these things. NDAs are contracts with the agency or movie production agency. You are not allowed to discuss, not even with police. You're not allowed to discuss anything that is being filmed on the project because if you leak out any movie leaks, you could get fired. You can literally get penalized. You can never work in the movie industry. So keep that in mind. Uh, talk about it? Yeah. Okay. Is there anything legal on you or anything nope. like that? No. It's okay to make sure? There's no reason to search me. But is it okay to make sure? There's no reason to search me. So you're saying no? I don't know. Is it against the law? First and foremost, he's, she did not, this officer did not articulate if he was under any suspicion for any other crime. She's only articulating this suspect or this victim, really, he's not a suspect, this victim, because of his tattoos. I'm about to say no because I'd rather it's you not don't. Against the law. Now, I, I'm saying no then. There's okay. no, there's no. But the whole reason is what made you, what provoked you to stop me and just question me? I told you before, I'm gonna sit here and say it again and again. I'm just curious. Okay. Because, right. like, like I said, I'm, I'm starting to feel like I'm being harassed by the Burbank police. And, I, and, I, and I'm not, and I'm not sorry. doing nothing wrong. Yeah, no, normally, normally it's not every day that people walk down the street, they got full, full tattoo sleeves and everything. This is how arrogant and stupid this police officer is. I don't wear tattoos, but I know a lot of people that I know personally that has tattoos, right? So, it's not every day someone in Burnbank doesn't have a tattoo walking down that street? What? Are you serious right now? Are you serious? This is how cops in America definitely need an assessment and an evaluation, mental health evaluation, to be done. They literally bothered this man because his tattoos are sticking out on his arms. How many times you have seen that in the United States or anywhere in Korea, Japan, or Germany, or anywhere you have traveled? Come on, officer. Now you're just making stuff up. This is why policing in this country is so bad. I just want to emphasize this story, get it out there, let you guys know. This is disturbing to literally see this every single day on the news. So with that said, everyone, profiling in this country is terrible. Please, if you are a policeman or a woman and you hate police like this, and you're a good cop, you should say something. Seriously. But that said, I'm out of here. See ya.